Hey guys, I found the fix, so I'm going to add this to the front of a new video and show you how it's done. Basically, you add the Punk Buster, you open it up again, uh, click agree, you're going to add a game like you normally would. I assumed Battlefield CTE was a different add game, uh, so in this list it never showed up, but you still go ahead and update Battlefield 4, but then you change the root directory where it's located. So you go to Origin Games, and you'll see it's listed separately here, so you just choose CTE, hit OK, add your game. Once it's added, you'll do update Punk Buster, and all should be good. Even though this is no updates, it'll still need to be done from what I'm hearing. So there it shows up as a separate game, so all is well. And when you go into the game, it works like a charm. Killing me, small. All right, hey guys, I'm having problems with getting Punk Buster to work with CTE, so I recorded a little desktop audio in order to show what I'm trying to do. Uh, click here, play to pull up the CTE control panel or the game console, whatever you want to call it. Uh, click multiplayer, you know, find a game, uh, pull it up, boom, I get a Punk Buster message, which I've already had, but I went and did it again. Uh, chose the Windows version. And so, so hopefully somebody else is running to this and can help me out. So it loads to my desktop, pull up the zip file, drag the executable down to the desktop, close that down, start Punk Buster and run. Uh, I've pretty much done this pre quite a few times, so I don't know what my deal is here. Now it pulls it up. In this first case, when I click add game, both my games are installed on my hard drive and only Battlefield 4 shows up in the list. So I figured, okay, maybe it's just Battlefield 4. So I pull it up, add game, runs the install process, good to go. Um, unfortunately, I know that's probably just the core game, Battlefield 4. Uh, so I go through the process anyway. Seems like it's installed correctly, so I'll close everything down. Continue, nothing. So I close the browser, kind of start over, and play it again. And one step you don't see here, I did reload my games uh, the, the third time and it did not work then as well. So you see, I tried it again, continue and nothing. So I kind of, you know, browse around in my uh, files and I do have the correct path for Battlefield CTE. And I figured I'd try to do it the long way. And you see here's a list of them and still no CTE version. So I back out of there and I went to go find the path. I'm gonna add new game. I go down to my SSD, which is said I said hard drive earlier, but it's really my SSD where everything's loaded at as far as battlefield. So I go down to origins folder, origin games is what I'll go into next. And that is where I'll find the correct path and the correct executable. So I copy and paste that in here first. Then I know I gotta go back and, and add the other portion of it. Pop that on at the end, and add game, and it doesn't find the path. So I, it forces me to select the game from the list, which I'm not as familiar with the setup as the most of you guys are. Hence why I'm making this video so you can your guys' help. So anyway, I try to try to go find that path again in the browse mode. Uh, instead of copying and pasting it in, I just went ahead and and browse for the executable and try to pop it in there. So it tells me again, please, please select on the list. So bail out of that. And anyway, I hope you guys can help me out with that. And if you got any feedback, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.